And it's like watching them degrade themselves. I, I don't know top of the pyramid people, but I've hung out with high, high level people. You know, and like, for example, when when Alex Jones is telling me that Joe Rogan was in the CIA and they worked out of Stanford and it's all brainwashed. I, I wanted to be like, buddy, my dad taught Al Roker. My dad, my dad has his Ph.D. in mass communication. I almost want to be, he's given keynote speech speeches everywhere. I almost want to be like, I wonder if my dad wrote that textbook. I know wizardry. I know mass mental manipulation. I just happen to not use it for my own benefit. I'm not a wizard because I have love. I, I saw my wife. I saw my child. I saw my baby. I saw my life. And I realized that I had something good in me. And it's like, I've never been a liar. It's, I got that from my mom. My mom's salt to the earth. My mom is straight out of small Benton, Wisconsin. Dad was a coal miner or lead miner. I used to always think coal, but it was lead. It's, it's been corrected many times. And it's like, when these people try and scare me with like, oh, CIA, oh, Tav- Tavistock incident, I'm like, gee, I wonder if my dad wrote that handbook. Do you not know how much I know about all this stuff? About mass mental manipulation? I have no idea what my dad's done. He doesn't tell me. My dad hasn't called me on the phone in 15 years. My dad taught Al Roker. Like some of these people that people talk about and they do these videos, I'm like, yeah, man, this is all making a lot of sense. And when I was a kid, my dad would teach me about rhetoric, about mass persuasion. It's like I know what they do. When when Alex Jones tries to use these like these these boogeymen, you know, Stanford and uh, CIA, I'm like, I was raised by that guy. The boogeyman isn't in the bushes. It's in your own mind. They make you kill yourself. How do people not see that? They don't have an elite team of snipers. It's way worse. It's way, way worse. They control you with these mass trauma incidences, with repetition, with media. You see what they do with self-hate, with, no, my dad's not CIA. He's a college professor. You have to understand the role of academia in all of this. My dad has his PhD in rhetoric. He taught it, it was on Upton Sinclair's The Jungle. And a lot of people will have no idea what I'm talking about, and they'll just be like, oh, oh it's that CIA. It's, no, he's a, he's a mid level wizard teacher. He basically works at fucking Hogwarts. That's my dad. My dad is a teacher at Hogwarts. The boogeyman, you make it in your head with spells and words. And it's like these people try and scare you with it where they're like, oh, CIA, Stanford, Stanford. I'm like, oh, yeah, I almost went to Stanford. I rebelled against all of that. I thought he was a lab matter. That's my grandfather, my mother's father. My dad's father cleaned furnaces. My uncle, my dad's brother, was in a country band, fixed VCRs in the woods. My dad's mother was originally Czech Jew and converted to Catholicism and was from a banking family. <laughs> I would just say I, I know some stuff. And I'm very open about everything I know. I don't, I'm not a secretive person. I don't have hard drives, the documents. I'm telling you everything that I know. I'm trying to piece together a lot myself. I had no idea the nefarious nature of professors until I was in my 30s. I just thought my dad was really, really smart. You know? It's, it's like when you find out Led Zeppelin and all these people, they were, they were like spies. The guy who wrote the, uh, the BFG, Raul Dahl, was an English spy. When people are like, oh, the polio vaccine, uh, you know, it's, uh, Raul Dahl, talk to Raul Dahl, his daughter. Had, but Raul Dahl was a British spy. That's a fact. That's, a doc, that's not conspiracy theory. That's a fact. Okay, the, the producer of Fight Club and Pretty Woman. I'll tell you a quick story, and then I'll keep reading Bear Mail. The producer of Fight Club and Pretty Woman is an Israeli spy. Not only is this not a secret, he brags about it. He was part of the operation that got nuclear secrets out of America to Israel. News reports have reported about how they should make the story about this guy. The producer of Fight Club and Pretty Woman is an Israeli spy. That's a fact. That's what you watch, the movies, the TV, 
all that stuff, that's, that's your hitman. And this will change the way you see all of entertainment. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's like, I mean, who would make a better spy than an actor? You know, they, like uh, Raul Dahl, his whole point was seducing the wives of uh, American uh, political, powerful people. It's it's nuts. That's what, why do you think I preach what I preach? People people are like, you just keep talking about marriage and children and and uh, and and farm life. Like you got to do something. You're just putting your head in the sand. What's your plan? My plan actually works, and all of these wizards' tricks require people. Require people to have horrible fam, to be lost, to be empty, to not have Christ, to not have love. Justin Timberlake, Vince Vaughn, Brad Pitt, and Angelina Jolie. Just a few of the stars Hollywood producer Arnon Milchin has rubbed shoulders with. But it's his story that should be made into a movie. The Israeli-born businessman behind hits like 12 Years a Slave. I have a business proposition for you. Pretty Woman. Come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. And Fight Club okay. says he spent years as an Israeli secret agent and arms dealer. In a stunning interview that aired Monday on an Israeli investigative program, Milchin detailed how he was recruited in the 1960s to Israel's Bureau of Scientific Relations, where he helped gather technology to further Israel's still unacknowledged nuclear program, saying, quote, I did it for my country and I'm proud of it. Milchin moved to Hollywood in the 1970s, but he suggested his efforts on behalf of the Israeli government didn't end completely. Milchin indicated other big Hollywood players were also involved, saying, quote, when I came to Hollywood, I detached myself completely from my physical activities to dedicate myself to what I really wanted, filmmaking, but sometimes it gets mixed up. The 68-year-old Milton owns new agency films and has produced more than 120 movies, working closely with directors such as Martin Scorsese and Oliver Stone. You guys got to understand, it's like, that's CNN. 